Could you wait out at reception? I'll be with you in a sec. Uh, Alexis, I don't want to say you have some explaining to do, but I think you have some explaining to do. Wait, did I forget to tell you I've been working PI cases for you? Must have slipped your mind. Hey, didn't the guys do a fantastic job remodeling the place? I know, right? But you're changing the subject. I know, but check it out. Pull on the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe and... Oh my God, this turned out so much cooler than I thought it would! Wait, did they do the thing on the desk? But the... Mm -hmm. Obviously, the spring has a trajectory. I'll make them fit. Okay, back to you. Why, why are you working my cases? Truth is, it's all your fault. You set up shop in my office behind my back, and it's my fault? Exactly. A month ago, when you sent me here to open the place for your foreman, a potential client came by. I was intrigued, so I sort of said I was your associate, and then I kind of solved the case. Since then, I've closed three others. Alexis, you can't just... You closed four cases? That's more than I have. I know. Step your game up. together. I don't smoke, and neither do you. Who said anything about smoking? Do you have the intel we need or not? <laughs> Tell her. When I was in middle school, Dad did four months of extensive research into the inner working of city finance for a novel he was writing. Yes, but then I realized that that novel would be the most boring novel in the history of novels, so I wrote a Derek Storm book instead. Okay. Camille, if you have a hankering for a bland meal, I have a treat for you, my mother's cooking. I heard that, Richard. I think gratitude would be appropriate since I am steaming this ridiculous meal for you. Martha Rogers. Yes, I'm sorry, have we met? Uh, May 19th, 1999, I saw you perform in Pippin. Oh, my God, you remember that? Oh, yeah, off, off Broadway. Ah, uh, Mother, that was New Jersey. It off, off Broadway, as I said. Well, isn't this nice? So, you liked the production? No, hated it. Plus, the theater smelled like Limburger gravy on a hot summer's day. But you... You were amazing. Really? So, all day with a best-selling author, nothing. 20 seconds with my mother, you're a tweener at a Taylor Swift concert? Don't be a hater, Richard. It's the power of theater. Go on. Go on. You were raving. Your performance. Yeah. It was so moving. I completely forgot how horrible my real life was. It was just, it was the best day ever. Oh, sweetheart. <sighs> and you barely stink. Oh. Well, coming from her, that's high praise. <gasps> oh. He didn't kill Victor. And if my instincts are right, neither did Lewis. Which means there is a 16-year-old kid out there alone with a very dangerous crew after him. We're gonna need all hands on deck to find him. It's not gonna happen, Castle. Slaughter's going in. But and they're it... lucky I don't arrest you, too, for aiding and abetting. Espo, please. No, Castle. I'm not changing my mind on this. Ryan. Ryan, where are we with that little unit? What the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. What just happened? Castle just stole a murder suspect. In our car. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Mm-hmm. 
When you were in that divorce lawyer's office, I was watching. Why, Captain Beckett, I had no idea I feel so violated. <laughs> Look, I know you were just playing a role, but... When she asked you if there was any hope for us and you didn't say anything, I was... Kate. I have never given up hope. Not since the day we met. And that'll never change until you tell me it should. Well, don't change. Ever. Okay. Are we moving? Megan, I think your crime scene's making a run for it. Take that. Okay. Hey! Hey, so I heard about Martha. Why didn't you pull me out of the meeting? Uh, you know what? I thought about it, but this whole new secret relationship, I wasn't quite sure what the rules were. What? Is she okay? Physically, yes, she's fine. Emotionally, not so much. She made me promise to help track down Robin's killer. Of course, but you know that publicly I can't agree to that. What do you mean? Well, it means that I love you, but right now, I'm gonna have to yell at you. We talked about this. You can't be here. Well, excuse me for living, but I've got a damn good reason. I don't care what your reason is. You can't just waltz in and out of my precinct whenever you want. Uh, my mother was traumatized, Captain. I'm involved in this case whether you like it or not. Fine, but you're on a short leash. Oh, I'll decide how short my leash is. I can't believe how badly I blew it up there. This is my fault, guys. I'm sorry. Don't do that to yourself. We've all been tripped up on the witness stand. True. Back when I was in uniform, a defense attorney got my head so turned around that I testified the defendant actually kicked my ass when I tried to arrest her. What's wrong with that? The defendant was a 75-year-old woman in a wheelchair. I lost all credibility with the jury. To this day, we pass the park where she feeds the birds, she snickers, turns to her nurse and tells her the tale of how she got one over on poor old Hobby. Miss Lucinda, I will get her one day. But he killed Grigori just... And it is a Russian matter. If you will excuse me, I have a plane to catch. I've been recalled to Moscow where I shall pay a small fine and begin my retirement. A fine? That's his punishment. Would you do me a favor? Could you please tell my wife I said, маленьких паров сажают, великих выпускают на свободу. What does that mean? Small thieves get hanged, great ones go free. An old Russian proverb. Mr. Oberon, please revoke Sergei's immunity. Have him stand trial for Grigory's murder. It would set a very dangerous example. You see, Captain, uh, Russian justice is very, very complicated. Oh, here is somebody who would like to say goodbye. You two look so unhappy. This breaks my heart. You're, uh, leaving town, same plane as Sergei? Yes. Nine hours to Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> but plenty of time to work on our hit and ice collaboration, yes? In fact, I have an idea for the ending. Vasily, I don't know. It Vasily. goes like this. Nikki Hit and James Rock think the evil Russian has gotten away. What they don't know is Vladimir Ice has set in motion a plan to send the murderer to live out the rest of his miserable life at the lonely Russian outpost. No, new corn. I've heard of that town. That's the coldest place on earth. It takes four days to warm the ground with bone fire before they can bury their dead. Is that where Sergei is headed? In Russia, there are far worse places than prison. Like I said, Russian justice is very complicated. <laughs> you guys okay? Yeah, thanks for rescuing us. Yes, because clearly you helped us without us. How did you guys even find us? Well, we had our best person on. I can't leave you alone for five minutes. Does this mean no hug? Good morning, Ryan. So I uh, saw the broken door outside, robbery gone wrong? No, we don't think so. According to the zoo supervisor, all the animals are accounted for. 
Is that a snake hook? Yep. Looks like our victim was bludgeoned to death with it. Okay. Who's the victim? Uh, we're not 100% sure yet. The zoo supervisor thinks that it's Eddie Ramirez, the nighttime animal caretaker. If it is, then he's an El Salvador native who's lived in the States for the past yeah, years. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, can we go back? Why are you having trouble IDing the victim? We can't positively ID the victim yet because the killer tossed his body into a pit filled with deadly snakes. Okay, well, that's a first. Thank you. I am so going to get that spot in the greatest detective society. I mean, there's no way Kendall has access to the kind of details that I have. Oh, don't get cocky, Rick. You haven't solved the murder yet. Hide me. What? How? Rick Castle. Oh, hi, Courtney. Hey, I'm Courtney. Hey, Lee. So, what's going on? You guys have a beef or something? Me and Rick? Yeah. No, no way. We're buds. Oh, buds. Last time I saw you, you tried to run me down with a golf cart because I wouldn't let you get cast in the Nikki Heat movie. But what I didn't know then, which I do now, was that your movie was going to be quite possibly the worst movie ever made. Not being cast in your movie was the best thing that could have happened in my career. So thanks. Let's do lunch sometime. Nice meeting you. Say hi to Brandon. Good morning. Hey. I'm surprised you're up, given how late you got in from L.A. last oh, night. Oh, Well, I thought we could play a little catch-up before you got off to work. Oh. I'm all ears. Thanks. Careful, I made it a little strong this morning. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yes, that will wake the dead. Would certainly make your job a lot easier. One interview, he's the guy who killed me. Case closed. I am guessing that you found out something about your missing time, and that's what you want to catch up with me on? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I did. Um, but I was thinking, how about we eat first? Oh, wow. That bad? I have to say, Catherine, it is so good to have you home. Thank you. I second that motion. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Lucy, what the hell? Turn it off. Whoa, language, Kate. Is there a problem? Oh, really? <laughs> well then, let me make it up to you. <laughs> Isn't that a little extreme? No, no, actually, I, I don't think so. Look, uh, th this might sound odd, but ever since I got back, it's like Lucy's been jealous. She's an it. A CPU wrapped in a plastic pyramid. She doesn't have emotions, and she certainly can't be jealous. You were saying? Uh, guys, guys, if you find that lamp and Castle's not there, I'm never going to hear the end of it. We'll have a meet us there. OK, great. OK, hey, I mean, you just, can you make sure that he gets dibs on the first rub, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, thanks. I owe you. <laughs> Can't believe I said that. I have decided that I should change my autograph. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Graham, that looks exactly like your usual autograph. No, 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 no. My usual autograph, when I am merely an actress, is like this, sort of carefree and, and whimsical, whereas the other conveys insight, wisdom. They're completely different. Can't you see that? Insight? Wisdom, sure. Yes, right absolutely. There. Good job. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business to run, especially since you know who's completely useless. I heard that, and if I'm so useless, why would Beckett ask me to consult on a murder? Oh, mother, new autograph. Yeah. Nice. Conveys wisdom, insight. I like it. Since when does heroin look like that? Since it's synthetic heroin, an opioid manufactured to replicate a heroin high. In fact, this stuff actually improves on it, because according to the analysis I ran, it's laced with TTX. The same poison that almost killed me? What? Heroin isn't dangerous enough? Because that poison works by blocking synapses. In small doses, it's a powerful analgesic specifically used for the pain of heroin withdrawal. So it makes the drug more addictive by reducing the painful side effects. So more addictive heroin that doesn't have to be smuggled into the country because... Because it can be made right here in the good old U.S. of A. That explains why the triads in Horatio are willing to put their differences aside because synthetic, synthetic heroin, heroin could, could be, be worth billions. billions. What does this have to do with me? Why, why, why would anybody want me dead? Well, clearly this stuff is made in a lab somewhere, and your job is to inspect laboratories, so... You know, 
This shade of yellow looks very familiar. What is it that gives it this color? An inorganic catalyst, commonly referred to as LAH. Lithium aluminum hydride. That is the same chemical that spilled when I was inspecting Xantium labs. This is why they wanted you dead. When the synthetic heroin hits the streets, it'll come out that it was made with LAH. And since you knew the lab had purchased large amounts of LAH... They couldn't take the risk that I might see something on the news, put the pieces together, and report it to the authorities. Which means... Someone, someone at Xantian Labs, labs is trying, trying to, to kill, kill you! Oh my gosh, is that what we sound like? I certainly hope not. I mean, it was cute, but just overly cute. Hey. Hi, darling. I know you're busy, but... Is Richard here? No, I thought he was at dinner with you. <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't show up, and his cell went right to voicemail, so I figured he must be here immersed in the case. Well, he's probably out playing with his fancy new credit card, but let me check in on him. Alexis put new tracking software on my laptop. Just ping his cell. There you go. There we go. 7th and 53rd. That's the parking garage across from the restaurant where we were supposed to meet an hour ago. Uh, you know what? Just give me a second. Hi, yeah, this is Captain Beckett. I need a unit at 53rd and 7th. He was trying to get in there. The safe? This was all drywalled over when I rented the office. The contractors found it when I was doing the renovations. The landlord thought it had been removed, but clearly Noah Kramer walled it up before he died, intent on burying whatever he and Shaw were working on. That's why Shaw grabbed the axe, to try and break into the safe. So what's inside? I don't know. Wait a minute. You've never opened... Why the hell not? Schrodinger's can. Oh, God, is this another one? Mm -hmm. It's great. No, no, it's... Look, look, if I opened it, I was bound to be disappointed with whatever it was inside. If I never opened it, literally anything I imagined could be in there. So you chose fantasy over reality. Well, duh. But we're going to open it now, right? Well, duh. When an axe-wielding psychopath is killed by a demon trying to get inside, clearly whatever's in there is worth seeing. If only... I knew someone who could crack a safe? It's Jefferson Titanium 500 volt. Meaning? I need 28 minutes and a chocolate milkshake. You're kidding. Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. All right, grab your tech here. We're going to that house. Excuse me, Beckett. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you just tell Castle that you're staying put here at the precinct? You think I'm going to send you into harm's way while I'm sitting safe behind a desk? No, not going to happen. You got a target on your back. We don't. You're staying here. He does know that I'm captain, right? Yes, ma'am. You can fire us both for insubordination if you want. Otherwise, we got this. 